Hey guys and welcome again to my kitchen. Today I'll be making a really dynamic breakfast for you. Here I have my ankle butter, I have slices of bread, I have my cheddar cheese, parmesan cheese, I have cinnamon, salt and a little bit of cayenne pepper, some fresh strawberries, vanilla, eggs, milk, yes, can you figure out what I'm going to make, bacon and of course some franks. I'm going to show you a real cool way of making a simple breakfast French toast with a twist of bacon. So here I am, I am adding my eggs to my milk and I am going to go ahead and use a fork and I'm going to add my salt, I'm adding my cayenne pepper and I'm adding my cinnamon powder and I'm going to go ahead and also add my liquid vanilla for flavor. I'm whisking that together to incorporate all the flavors together, whipping out the eggs so that all the egg is beaten out properly. I'm adding my third egg because I've realized that I do need the third egg based on the, the, the viscosity of the mixture itself. I am also going in with my cheddar cheese. I'm adding my Parmesan cheese as well and I'm whipping that for further incorporation. Yes. And guess what I'm going to do guys, add the bread, yeah, I'm adding the bread, soaking the slices of bread and I'm going to get that ready because I'm going to toss it into the frying pan and I'm going to fry it, yeah, that's how you make French toast. So I'm dipping the bread, soaking the bread into the mixture that I've created with my flavorings and my milk and my eggs and I'm going to go ahead now and add my anchor butter to my pot. Allow that to melt and then I'm going to go ahead and add my slices so that I can actually fry them. Here I have added my first slice. And what I do to ensure that the egg which coats the bread doesn't spread out too much, I use my spatula and I'm going to push the sides back up on the sides of the bread. I've also soaked my bacon strips in the same liquid and then I have added it to the top of the bread and I'm adding a little bit of the cheese, the, the grated cheese back on top of it so that you know you can add, add to your flavor. When that fries now. See, I'm beating the sides of the egg back into the slice of the bread so that it kind of sticks to it and it doesn't spread out too much. After I do that and I get my perfect color on the underside, I'm going to go ahead and flip it. And I'm going to allow that second side to fry really nicely because remember the bacon is on that side. So I'm going to allow it to fry. There it is. Look at that perfect color. It is beautiful. Wow, look at that guys. I remove that and I'm going to go ahead and make my additional slices. I've added both slices at a time. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same procedure, which is adding the bacon to the top of the, the toast itself so that I can actually get that French toast. I've soaked the bacon in the liquid and I'm adding it to the top of the bread. Here we go. With my finished slice, I'm adding cheese to the top of it. So the heat from the, the, the bacon will actually melt the cheese, sprinkling, of course, a little bit of cinnamon on top. I fried up my, my, my franks and I'm just adding them and I cut them into pieces and I just basically added them on top of my French toast, topping it with a bit of whipped cream on each slice and of course adding my frozen strawberry, my fresh strawberries. There you have it guys. It's so tasty 
and it's a beautiful breakfast meal to make. So thank you guys for watching. Any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.